Hi guys, um, due to quite a few um, requests uh, of what I cut out and do stuff in my little tiny garage um, they basically have been asked can I set up a small YouTube channel and go through some reviews of the welders, the cutting CNC stuff so here's the first one uh, for a gentleman with a wanted an Alsatian dog so I'm just going to go through by step by step on how I cut little bits out on my homemade CNC so first up we'll do the computer stuff the DXF pretty much last night but I'm just going to run through it the steps that I would use generally speaking I'd usually use Adobe Illustrator or Aspire use Aspire only because the CNC uh, homemade CNC plasma does also CNC routing and also CNC engraving so I tend to use this uh, just before sheet cam so basically create a new file these top is the material height and width. I use a 400 by 400 sheet of metal. So as long as my sketch or file, what I want to cut out fits um, fits within these, then it's bang on the money. So that'll adjust my 400 by 400 mil. I'll just import the DXF file that I did last night, which is this little dog here. So all I'll do, is if we then group, if we just group everything in one go, so basically all, all just all moves together. That's all. So as long as I get him, uh, hi. I mean, you, I can pretty much don't put him right to the edge. However, the CNC that I use is pretty accurate. It cuts uh, with a new tip on it with a kerf. I'd say cuts within 0.2 of a mil, 0.3 of a mil. So for a man-made CNC, I'm happy with that. But we'll we'll give it some leeway, top top and bottom. So pretty much that's ready to go. Now all we'll do is we'll highlight it, click on export, and then we'll export we'll export it to DXF, which obviously. I did last I did last night so we'll not save that and which is this file here now from there it will then go into sheet cam so what I'll do we'll go over to that PC which is obviously connected directly into my CNC so pretty much I can sit at home um, in the house designing the files once I get it on the USB stick I can basically that is just a basic and I'll see it under there. It's just a basic old shitty Dell uh, 80 quidder, only because that just seems to be the best to run Mac 3. So just keep it simple. So we'll just pop over to Sheet Cam and I'll show you how I quickly just work out inside and outside cuts. If anyone wants any information on detail how Sheet Cam works, I don't mind doing a tutorial individually how quickly how it works, but. There's plenty on the internet and this is basically just showing the quickly process of us going from this, one of these, to technically one of those. So I'll jump over to the other PC. Right, over in sheet cam. Now like I said I'm not going to go into mega detail with all the tools, setup and everything else. They're, they're on other videos so this is just going to rip through uh, where that dog was working on earlier. So we import the drawing, that's the Alsatian there. Now obviously the size wise we set in a spire, so we don't have to mess around with that. That that will be within the 400 by 400. Click on that as standard and away we go. That's our little dog. Now quickly, all we have to do is quickly make out what's an inside and outside cut. Um, so once we go on to contours, which is a new layout here which is that one. We'll always start off with the inside. Right click and I'll always create a new layer. Um, so I'll just type this in. Inside cut. And then as you can flash them over, once, once we've set it as an inside cut, you'll see it'll turn red. So everything now, we then move to an inside cut. So, <laughs> 
Now a lot of the time what I'll do, I've got sheet cam uh, on both PCs. So what I'll tend to do is do this obviously in the house while watching TV or something. Um, create it all and then it's literally just move the G-code um, over to the plasma. But we'll, we'll work our way through. We'll take that long. And you know, you'll know they've been done because obviously they go, they turn from yellow to red when you hover over them. Oh, wrong button, bollocks. I have one of these ridiculous keyboards with a built in mouse, so hence that's why. Um, it's quite slow because I never really do that in here. And so I got I think we got everything there. Inside got Just make sure I get on his nose again. Um, pretty much, I think. I think that's pretty much it. And then on the outside, well, again, always better to create. I always create a new layer. Right, so I got. So we'll just make sure it's like cut. And that's and that's pretty much it done. So from here we can import the job. So basically we'll always do the inside offset first. Inside offset, inside cut. These tools here, that's a tool I'll be using. Um, they're pre-set up for your plasma cutter. Um, so I find this is this is ample. So everything's right, 1.8, I'll go through that a little bit, pretty much. I, I keep that side, so that's the first lot. So they're all my, they're all my cuts. So I can quickly see then what's been cut out and what's not. They're all been got. So the second one is your outside offset, outside cut, pretty much standard, all preset, and away you go. And then, <clears throat> once all that done, sorry about that, the camera, obviously the camera died. Um, I need to get one, I'll get one properly sorted, because uh, a few things I can go through this year and different things I've got planned to make. So, once everything's sorted, um, we hit po pause process, we can just leave it on new. And that's it, we're done. So we can minimise this. We can shut that down, don't need that. And this file here, the tap file, is what goes into Mac 3. So what we'll do, I'll shut the video off, I'll boot the CNC plasma and I'll quickly go through what's what with a machine and then we'll, we'll get it cut out. Right guys, just going through a bit of stuff what I've got. Obviously now we're on Mac 3. Uh, I currently use the Jassic Cut 45. Um, before anyone jumps on and says "Well, this, this, that and the other, as you can see with other stuff, uh, I've got a Jassic, a couple of power wells, they do the job. For the price wise, they do the job. Um, I've had EWMs, everything. Uh, yeah, good machines, they're made for 12 hours a day. Unfortunately, I, I do have a job besides this, um, so I just can't justify the price. I used to have Hypertherm, believe it on here, and this cuts better. For me, uh, for the price that I can churn these out, 
and the price of metal, the price of consumables, uh, which it runs, let me just show you, PC60 torch, uh, the tips are about £1.60 each, uh, and I can get quite a few, um, until obviously the cuff starts to become a bit wide, I'll save them if I'm just stripping out sheets outside, but cost per cut, I prefer not really worth it and I'll be I must admit it was I had it fixed more than I used it to be fair so currently I use the Jassic 45 a bit about the plasma um, obviously I wanted to buy one last year these dogs by the way I used to cut by hand um, used to cut everything out of plywood with a bandsaw and then do it free and outside so I had to gauge out what was inside cut outside cut whether it was a corner or whether it was rounded off so obviously a lot of time come to for the CNC but last I think well, last November I decided to make one and everything that you can see here which I'll go for the, I'll go for a review on everything all the electronics is basically in a, in a Milwaukee box which I'll show you dead neat actually in there keeps it dust free fans in there not a problem as we discussed before, cheap or PC. Now this cuts, this cuts 12 mil. Uh, I only use it up to about 5 mil, which is ample for me, man in the shed. Pretty much solid. Now how this is done is it's not. Um, it's got a floating head, but it's not torch height control. Don't need uh, torch height control because obviously with the water level, even when the sheet's low as 0.8, I don't get warp. So for me couldn't justify that if I wanted to add one maybe next year I will but I, I at the moment can't do it the thing is with this machine I can quickly bolt unbolt these here uh, and it will fit a wood router so again it'll cut up to 12 mil ply um, that again will bolt off and I can bolt an engraver so it does pretty much everything and total cost guys cost me about 900 quid believe it or not for everything and it took around two weeks to make uh, the only thing I struggle with was getting a pan um, because everyone just wanted stupid money but everything's basically made out of five to six mil plate um, it's overkill for a man in the shed but it's deadly it's deadly accurate so that's a little bit on the machine and then I've just got a cheap I've got I've just got a cheap or cheap or Amazon things which you can see there go through loads of them because the cables if you have a look the cables always knacker there so go through about one a month to be fair but that's my homemade CNC any questions about that obviously ask away and I will do a full review or maybe I'm on about building another one actually a smaller one just just for wood um, and again some of the things I'll go step by step as you can see only half the slats are filled because obviously I'm only using a 400 mil. Um, I don't use any of that plasma quench, any of that bollocks. It, 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 it's one of them. I tend to use that. Now, if I'm cutting, I will tend to cut it and clean it out every night with a drain, as you can see with a horse pipe down the garden. You used to have a pump auto fill, but it makes everything in the small garage kind of. Uh, condensation really so I just pump it in when I want and I'll just drain it out if I'm gonna leave it two or three nights then I'll use that um, and hammer stuff and don't get rust free if it's if it's looked after to be fair so let us get my safety goggles on and everything else and we'll watch this cut